Hey. Oh my god, you scared me. What are you doing sitting there in the dark? Have you met me? When I'm trying to get away from all those super cringy New Year's Eve superstitions. Like, I wanna just put on some green bloomers over her mother. And that was enough for me. Careful, this place is a minefield. There's small children asleep, scattered everywhere. Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry, Primo Pepito. Don't tell your mom. You already had that dent on your head, okay? No wonder we have so many cousins we don't know. I mean, look at all these new kids just in this room. It's enough to terrify me. Speaking of cousins we don't know, did you guys see that Primo Kevin is here? Who? Okay, Larissa, we get it. You don't know who Primo Kevin is. Quien carajos Kevin? <laughs> it is pretty funny. Okay, but seriously, guys, who is Kevin? Do we even know? I mean, he has to be related to us, right? Well, I actually have a theory. The year is 1950 something. Whatever. Before Abuela came to America. Before they invented light color and stuff. She was out one night walking along the Havana beach, super feeling herself. Cause she looked like me. And then she met a man. Que escándalo. They hit it off right away. And then they danced all night, like super close. Like they definitely didn't leave space for El Espíritu Santo. And then, well, you know. What? What do I know? What's happening? What's going on? They, they, um, had some, um, they, um, wrote a letter to a stork and then nine months later they had a baby. They're still at the beach? Yeah, sure. Why not? When Abuela had to leave Cuba for America, she couldn't take the baby, so she left it with a man. And the man raised the baby. And that baby? Was Primo Kevin. Oh my god! I know. It's like a super bit of super romantic, passionate love story. It's very similar to me and Ezekiel's. Except without a yogi baby. You know that's impossible, right? That would make him our uncle, not our cousin. Last time I checked, we don't call him T.O. Kevin. Okay, but it's still a pretty good story. I used it in the Florida Rights portion of the FCAT. And it placed second at the Miami-Dade County Youth Fair and Exposition. They gave me a free elephant ear y todo and a pop ticket. Guys, that's not at all who he is. I did some detective work. I did some covert surveillance. At first, it all looked pretty normal. You know, like regular boring stuff you'd expect someone named Kevin to be doing. Then I realized that's exactly what he would want us to think if he was a secret agent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about it, guys. What is Kevin really good at? Blending in and not being noticed. That's like the top qualification for being a spy. And we have no idea what he's doing when he's not around. And that's when he's doing all his super cool secret spy stuff, you know? Like driving fancy cars and fighting bad guys and saving the world. And when he's done super spying around, he flashes a little light. Boop, 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 like that. And then we forget about him. And that's why none of us can ever remember who he is. Do you have any evidence of this? No, just a hunch. I did write to the CIA to ask if he works for them, but they haven't responded yet. I know how you feel. Bad Bunny hasn't replied to any of my comments on Instagram. You guys are ridiculous. If you're going to make up a story, at least make up a good story. Okay, Stephen King. What's your version of the story? Submitted for your approval. This is the story of Primo Kevin. 
He's not our first cousin. He's not our second cousin. He's our late cousin. He's dead. <gasps> Sorry, man, throw aire. Do you ever wonder why we never think about Kevin until all of a sudden we see him? Maybe the way you might describe a ghost. I believe Kevin passed away tragically years ago. And like any good Latino family dealing with trauma, we never acknowledge or talk about it. So our dearly departed cousin haunts us every so often from the fog of memory at the most unexpected of times, forcing us to remember, forcing us to ask, Ken Carajo S. Kevin. <laughs> Somebody say my name. What are you guys doing up here? You're gonna miss the ball dropping. <sighs> Hi, Primo Kevin. Well, we're just trying to figure out how you're related to us. Oh, is that all? It's so simple. Let me tell you all about it. See? Well, that wasn't that important. And your mom, well, not your mom, you know, like your mom. That's pretty much it. Uh, not that big of a deal, you know, but. Kind of extraordinary at the same time, but that's just me. Oh, it smells like baby powder.